How's it going, YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to get CarPlay on your factory Uconnect uh, 8.4 screen on the 2014 Charger models. So what you have to do is you need to get this device. And what this does is that this basically becomes your central hub. So all the connections from there connect to here. And then this releases a signal out, uh, allowing you to connect to CarPlay. And the way that you uh, open CarPlay is, I believe you just hold this back button and the CarPlay should open. But anyway, let's get into this installation. All right, in order to do this install, you're gonna have to remove the cruster bezel, uh, the AC controls, um, and the control shift knob. I already took this off just cause it would be a lot harder doing it with one hand. But the way that you remove it is you just simply grab onto here. Make sure you're grabbing onto the plastic, not this black part. And you just pull up, grab it over here, and pull up. And there's like four clips, one, two, three, four. And just simply pull. Now, to remove your shift knob, all you have to do is this pl this plastic trim right here is you pull push it down. So, let's see if I have my tool here. You could grab anything that's like a flat head or something like that. And you could just really come here like this. And you just go like that. And it comes right down. And you'll notice that you can't pull it out. So what it has, it has a little clip right there. This golden clip right there. And how you remove that thing is I like using a pair of pliers. So any regular pliers will do or if you have something else similar to this that'll work too so all you have to do is just uh grab onto that and just pull it out like that make sure you don't lose this that you don't lose this so just put it somewhere you know i'm just gonna set it right here for now and that'll be that and then once you do that you should be able to pull it out that came right off same thing as that make sure you don't lose these pieces so i'm just gonna set them right here put this one there and then this just like should come right off it's not gonna come all the way off because you still have a cable connected to it there so all you have to do for this one is just press it down and pull Just set that to the side as well and then once you head over here you're gonna notice you have two screws they're phillips heads and they seem to look like a six maybe a size six but i'm just gonna use the phillips heads make sure you don't lose them either all right now for this part, once you do that, this should just come right off. So you just yank it. There you go. It feels like you're gonna break it, but you're not. Let's see. Give me a second, guys. Let me just. All right, there you go. I have to use both of my hands. It's kind of strong back there. But you just pull it out like that. And it's going to have two wires here. The same process. You just push and pull. I was having a bit of trouble, but here you go. So to remove this one, you make sure you press on this yellow piece and just press it and pull and for this other one it just has kind of this little thing in as well push and pull but yeah so once you remove those two as well you're gonna go ahead and need to remove this piece right here now for this piece you just pull since you already removed all the screws and everything it's just it's just about pulling so um let's see Just start pulling it. It's kind of hard on there. Oh, crap. There we go. 
Yeah. It comes off as four clips. And same process here. Just press on this and pull. Alright, cool. Now this is your receiver, the part we're gonna be messing with. So the this has four uh, four screws, one here, one here, one here, and one here. Same process, they're all Phillips heads. So it's just mm. Alrighty, once you've removed the four screws, you're just gonna grab this black piece and grab the top head of it and just start wiggling it. It seems like you're not doing anything because it doesn't look like it's moving, but you are, trust me. Just keep. There we go, we got it out. Just pull it out. And uh, it's going to have some clips in the back. So same process, just push and pull for every single clip. Some of these are really strong on there, man. Here's how your receiver should look like. And also I forgot to mention, this is a very important thing. If your receiver doesn't look like this, your, uh, the, this kit will not be compatible with your car. You would have to get another kit. Uh, I know of, uh, I think it was called uh, Nav, Nav Auto, Navic, something like that. They sell it, but it's pretty expensive for the older models but i'm pretty sure that if you don't have this receiver that you could just go to a junkyard and swap it out but yeah this is this is what i have and these are all your connections as well all right guys once you remove your receiver and everything all of that stuff you're gonna need to remove your dash bezel this, some cars are easy some cars are a bit more complicated just because they get stuck on and the clips everything whatever all right so you just kind of need to fill around for a a gap in your thing and what i would recommend using is i would recommend using a some kind of pry tool uh just insert it somewhere around the edges you heard that pop yeah there you go this side's coming off just pry it up like this and pull there you go like this just pull it out oh, it's kind of there you go feels like i'm breaking it but it's i'm not this is strong but you know if you want to break it you can break it but <laughs> you're not going to break it it's, oh shit so then you press the horn In. I'm not worried about that. Um, that comes in. There you go. Everything should come out right off. Let's see if you can. All right. Once you remove that. You're just gonna need to remove these. It has some clips in the back, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, same process. All right, once you removed it, you should have these three. And then here are the connections that I took out. This one, this one, and this one. So uh, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go ahead and open your kit. Uh, it'll come with these cables and the receiver itself. And, uh, well, the instructions say it's all plug and play. 
Uh, this is where your antenna goes. LVD is, I'm guessing that's where for the screen. It goes to the screen. And that goes, for, uh, wait, no. This comes in, this goes out. A microphone cable. All right, power cable, Alrighty. So let's start plugging this up one by one. Um, so just by the looks of it, I mean, I could tell this boy goes in right here. Um, just kind of snaps in right here to this big one. This is from your receiver, so at the bottom. And then these, as stated in the, in the manual thing, this says, pretty sure this is for the camera. If you want to add up another camera, which I don't, I have a factory camera, so there's no point on me doing that. And then this would just go back to your receiver. And that's how that output looks like. And I don't have anything in here that's like that. So we're not using that at the moment. So on here, I know I wasn't showcasing this a lot, but you have these ports and then these ports. So the way this is set up, if you can see, your LCD in is this one, remember? The LCD in was the pink one we did over there and the actual screen LCD out is gonna be this one. So this one plugs right in here and then plugs into the back of this receiver right here. Okay, all right, this is what uh, the LCD out cable should look like. Connects from here and then it goes routed towards the receiver, the one that was in the receiver, I'm sorry. It would go plugged in right there. All right. So I'm looking here at the manual. LVDS out. Connects to original LVDS cable. LVDS in. Connects with to the head unit. We already did that. So now microphone cable. I'll do that one last. Um, and then as for your power cable, we already did that. And there you go. It gives you all the information and USB cable. I'm not gonna be using that because I'm not. I don't. I don't want wired CarPlay, wired nothing. I mean, I just want um, wireless CarPlay. That's what I'm here for. And uh, aux adapter connect to aux port from Armrest from Box. Yep. Yeah, okay. I'll show you guys that in a second. And your Wi-Fi antenna. So we're basically done here. So. <clears throat> Everything should just be plug and play. I'm just gonna plug everything up and I'll show you guys how I plug it up. All right, I forgot to mention this cable right here, the one that says power, uh, but it's pretty pretty easy. All you have to do is just connect it here and then this goes to the cable connected from the receiver and it just plugs it right in. And after you do that, it'll come with a aux cable. I'm just gonna leave it as it is but basically that aux cable you just plug it in from the audio in to the audio out like that and that's how it goes uh, but i mean everything else uh should be fairly easy i mean it's pretty straightforward from here just plug in everything uh back how it was with including the new stuff i mean uh i'll showcase that in a second all right, we're back with everything connected. Um, <clears throat> everything connected pretty straight out forward. Uh, this T harness, the one I was talking about, this is the one that comes in your kit. This connects to your factory connection right here. And then this one goes into the back of right here. And then you're gonna have another cable, which is gonna be your power cable for your module thing right here. So then this one will go from there to here. And the way I routed all my cables is I was thinking of putting this one in here at the bottom, but there's no way of fitting it down there. So the way I did it was I routed all the cables through the thing, through the little hole that's right here. And I just pulled them out and I'm still gonna, you know, adjust them a bit to make them look nice. Yeah, uh, so far this is, this is a, how everything works. I mean, everything works perfectly fine. Oh, and this wire, you don't need it. This is for your camera. Uh, this one is the LVDS. Uh, I think this was the out, if I'm not mistaken. So then this one just plugs into your factory one. So you're not going to be plugging this one up here. You're going to be plugging this one up to the LVDS out, which is the gray wire. And this gray wire 
is the one that goes into here. And now for the pink one, LCDN. So that one goes all the way back into your receiver. Not here, because if you plug it up here, you won't get any, uh, any signal. So your screen will be off the whole time. So make sure you do plug this pink wire into the back of the receiver. And then once you have everything plugged in like me, uh, make sure before you obviously put everything back together, make sure you give it a test. So look, this is me giving it a test. Um, so you just put it in a run. All right, it's booting up. It's a good sign. All righty, so it booted up. Now, how it says in the manual, the way that you go to the CarPlay functions is you hold back you hold this button for like five six seconds and it should pop up there here i'll, I'll show you guys i'm about to hold it and there you have your functionality right there so that way you know you have your carplay here i'll show you how to use carplay here in a second um, in your setup uh, you have all of these these options for you to do uh, and oh, and also for people that are obviously not doing it for Maseratis, they're doing it on chargers. You have to go to the CarPlay here. Oh crap, I pressed the wrong one. So you go to CarPlay and you just type in your the password and you scroll down and choose uh, your make of the vehicle so i put mine as dodge and, and everything but you have all the makes here see mine sets to dodge and then once that's done you can you're pretty much done i mean you can mess around with the settings uh there's a built-in equalizer which i used it a here a, se a second ago uh it really does make your speakers louder than than the stock see i have the beats audio system and it's it's loud but this adds i guess you could say more power to the speakers and it makes them way louder and better you just have to mess with the equalizer and stuff a bit uh loudness option i wouldn't recommend if you have the beats audio system just because if you click on it you get uh, pretty distorted i mean yes it sounds really loud but it's not good quality it's just you know just loud but if the way to make it really loud, you know, and clear, you go down here and then you mess around with these settings and then that will adjust your, your power to it. Now for CarPlay, <clears throat> CarPlay, it says here, um, all that you have to do is really just connect to it on the Bluetooth. Look for Joy Auto on the Bluetooth and you'd be able to to use it. Uh, I'll show a process of me doing it on my phone. I'll screen record it and then I'll just publish it on here. All right, so there we go. Once you have completed the setup, as I showed, you would be introduced to your CarPlay here. And I mean, everything functions like normal, as you can expect, you know. Um, I'm not going to scroll the other way because I'm going to show my location, you know. But yeah, I mean, that was pretty much it, guys. Um, I'll just make a time lapse of me closing up everything and adjusting everything so you can get an idea of where to put it. And yeah, but that was pretty much it. to move my module up there uh when i had it right here it just wouldn't close but you can just shove it in there and it'll be fine uh this it does it moves very little i have these zip ties on there and one there that way it doesn't move all over the place you know 
uh, it's pretty secure there. Let me see. I'm probably gonna put another one right here at the head from right here. But overall, it's pretty good. I mean, the cables uh, just zip tie them together like this. I'm about to put another zip tie in here, but uh, they, then just route them on this hole that's right here. And then you have your three connections for your thing. It's this one, this one, and uh, where is it? Oh, and this one. I mean, that should close right up again. You shouldn't have an issue. And this receiver thing, it's inside too. So just, uh, that'll be fine. And uh, if you are installing the USB cable, like I am, uh, I routed mine towards the bottom. So mine comes out over here. Let's see, it's right here. That's where mine is. I'll move it on later on. But for now, you know, it's, it's fine there. It shouldn't be an issue. Uh, that's for... You can use that for CarPlay or whatnot, but I'm going to use it for screen mirroring for whenever I go on trips or whatnot. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Now I'm just going to do a time lapse of me closing everything up. Now for our last final check of if everything works right. So there you go. Let's hold this one right here. Switches. So yeah, everything is working right. Uh, I can't connect to CarPlay right now because I'm using my phone to record. Alrighty, my video ended there. Uh, the CarPlay auto connected by itself, but you know, it's all right. But yeah, so CarPlay is working perfectly fine. Uh, It'll be a little laggy just because, you know, this is an aftermarket part on an OEM part. But overall, you know, it works good. It works when you want it. Uh, everything works fine. Oh, yeah, guys, I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, this right here, it comes with the kit. So you just plug this into your aux. And that's if you want to use... Uh, this as a source so the carplay as a source you don't need it if you, you want to keep on using your bluetooth i mean i'm probably going to stick to my bluetooth but for y'all guys that want to use the equalizer that's built into the the device itself you could do that and if you use the aux one uh, a bad thing about it is that you cannot um you don't have a stereo one function so you can't skip songs or whatsoever that's another reason why i'm only doing my uh, Bluetooth connection with it. So yeah, just wanted to let you know. So that concludes this install uh, It's a really I don't know why Dodge didn't add it from factory, you know, it's a pretty common thing nowadays, but you know, we need it So but yeah, this concludes the install if you have any questions uh, Just let me know down in the comments. I'll put my Instagram down in the description as well So you can contact me directly. I'll answer all your questions and I'll help you out
All right, peace.